It's starting to be summer. Unfortunately. Hello and welcome to Monday. So, uh, yesterday I said I would show you a couple of the things I got from Tuesday morning. Here they are. It's the uh, Mon Calamari and Imperial Star Destroyer die-cast Hot Wheels things. You can actually... Uh, it says that this is like a flight navigator and you stick it on your finger. Uh, so yeah. Oh no, this is the things. They they need to be found. However, will I find them? Oh no. It's, it's really easy. But yeah, so this is the thing. They actually have a lot more detail than I was expecting them to. So it's like they got like the detailing of the hangar with like the... The, the claw thing, and then for like the Mon Cal, they have like indents for where the hangar bays would be on either side. It, it's kind of cool, and it was uh, it's a lot more detail than I was expecting. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, what's going on right now? Well, I'm working on getting the thumbnail um, for the third episode of 007 done. I did. I'm not sure if I told you, but I did indeed. Um, decide to do thumbnails just because you know I already do them and I know you know how exactly I want them done um so I just you know I just go with the flow man uh so yeah um I set up like a master file like a it's like a template file but it's really a project file that I use as a template and I just you know delete the the image and then I take a new image and um what I do for um uh, 007 is different than what I did for, uh, than what I do for Doorman Net Productions. What I do for 007 is I actually go into Filmora and I take a snapshot of a particular frame that I want. And then I go into the user source file and I pull that image out. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I'm getting, getting a lot of use, uh, for that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, it's 2.30 p.m., so I'm uploading uh, 007 an hour later than I wanted to. Uh, but that's kind of what happens when you gotta get courses registered and then realize that you can't actually register until seven days later. Yeah. So that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna get these, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, episode and thumbnail all done and uploaded, and I'll do other things. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. I got a lot of vlogs uploaded. I got days 27 through something. 30 something. Was it 31? 32. So days 27 through uh, 32 have all been uploaded. Um, that's good. I'll do another batch um, tomorrow. Get get the batch edited, uh, so that stays 33 through 38 ish. So even even when the vlog gets behind by 10 days, <gasps> excuse me, I can get it caught up to five days behind, which you know is pretty okay. Um, I have soda. My mom's teaching a crafting class, which means uh, the dog's inside, which means. Um, she whines if I'm in earshot, but if I'm in my room with the door closed, she doesn't whine. You may be like, well, why does she have to be in the house? Uh, because all of my friends are, what? All of my mom's friends, um, would get, uh, knocked over by Cookie, uh, because my dog does not understand her own strength, and she can easily knock down, uh, most of my mom's friends, which is very unfortunate. Uh, so she has to stay inside. Um, so yeah, that that's why uh, my dog's forced to stay inside when my mom has people over. Otherwise, if if my dog was smaller or like could control her strength, we'd leave her in the yard. Um, that and also uh, my mom's office is already cramped enough with all the people, and so having Cookie underneath the table. Uh, would just make matters worse. Uh, so yeah, what's going on right now? Well, I'm uh, working on my. Ch I'm gonna work on my chapter nine uh, stuff for PC help desk. 
I was going to work on this earlier, but I decided to upload vlogs instead. And while vlogs were uploading, I decided to play um, Civilization V, which I should tell you about. Um, I'm doing a single player run right now. Uh, I'm pretty close to a scientific victory. I just need to um, make a couple of scientific wonders. And then I will have won the uh, science of victory. I didn't... I didn't get to where I was just by being, like, passive. I was super aggressive. I worked with, you probably remember my tales of me working with Sweden uh, to wipe out China. Me working on my own <laughs> to wipe out the Zulus. Um, basically, I was, a, I was a very aggressive player. And because of that, I, I managed to grow my empire um, to the size that I really wanted it to. Um... So I, I kept growing and growing and growing. Uh, I, t I took over um, a couple of cities. The first city state I ever took over, because you know I promised myself that I wouldn't pick on the city states um, too much. I mean, demanding for tribute if they were afraid and if I was in a financial pinch, yes, I would do that. Um, but for the most part, I didn't want to go to war with the city state because they're city states. Well, I found one city state that it seemed like no other civilization knew of, otherwise they would have had some sort of tie to it. So I invaded it. And what happened after I invaded it? Well, I took it over, and I used it as a staging ground for uh, the next part of my military campaign. Um, and um, what I did is uh, I kept pushing and pushing, taking out... Uh, barbarian encampments if they were in my way. Um, and I eventually um, parked all of my units outside of the Mongols and I waited. I waited and waited. And what was I waiting on? A atomic fusion. Or was it nuclear? I think it's called nuclear fission. And when I got that, I got atomic bombs. And I had over 3,000 gold. So I used it to buy an aircraft carrier and three atomic bombs. So I got my aircraft carrier upgraded so it could carry three units and put all three atomic bombs on that carrier and then brought it over to where I then started the war against the Mongols. Um, and um, after, after I had uh, defeated the Mongols, I decided, you know what? I'm going to use these atomic bombs only if necessary because they were devastating. Not as devastating as nuclear missiles uh, that you get in like a few more um, science research options. But they they still did a pretty penny against um, against the cities. And I used, I think in total I used four atomic bombs in the war. Uh, I took over the city-state uh, that was allied with the Mongols. Or actually, it was it was allied with Greece. And the reason why I was at war with the city-state is because I accidentally went to war with Greece because I didn't realize Greece had units attacking the capital city of the Mongols until after I'd launched the atomic bomb. So I kind of went to war with Greece, uh, took over the city-state, and then defeated the Mongols entirely. Uh, I destroyed one city, and I capture and I annexed the other two because my empire is so happy it didn't even matter. Um, so I did that, and then Greece was like, "Okay, you took out the people we were at war with, so um, we'll make peace with you. We'll give you this city state, and." you don't go to war with all of these city-states and you make peace with us. I was like, yeah, I can do that. That's cool. I'll, I'll totally, I'll be okay with that. So I did that. So I inherited a city that was starving. So I had to build, um, I had to build cargo ships and send them to uh, three different port cities because the city that I built them in, I didn't realize that at the time. But they didn't have food to spare. 
uh, for a trade route. So I was like, oh crap. So I sent them to other cities and then established food routes. Um, so that city's all squared away. And, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I, I have a buttload of atomic bombs, but I'm not going to use them unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, because I am the strongest empire in the entire world. And I'm about to get a, a, um, a science victory. So what I'm thinking of doing is, like, you know, this whole run has been canon. Like, everything that's happened that's 100% canon in that world, in that history. And what I was thinking was, um, after I, um, finish, let's see, can we, no, okay, everything's just pink, uh, because of reasons, uh, but anyways, um, after I get my science vector, I'm going to do a non-canon completion, where basically, I'm like, okay, just let me continue playing after this, and then I just wipe out everybody else, and yeah. So I'm, I'm doing a very aggressive science run. And most of my cities have gotten to the point where they have strength of a little over 100. So the value doesn't actually fit in the text box in like the little space given. And it like s spills out a little bit. And it's hilarious. Uh, but yeah. So um, that's my civilization run. My... My aggressive science run. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what's going to happen right now, I'm going to finish up this uh, chapter 9 stuff. It looks like I only need um, uh, two things to do, but they're pretty extensive. Uh, and it's 818. So this is actually going to be the end of today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.